Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens with sleigh There's a ring in when December is Where the children are singing, yeah Merry Christmas, baby The snow is laying two feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh There's a ring in December is when the what I've done in London, quite briefly, just some festive shots. So, I went to London to spend a girly weekend with my friends from university, it was lovely, I already can't wait to do it again. Um, it was mostly just walking around London, browsing, little shopping, uh, we went to Victor and Albert Museum, which I think is one of my favourite museums in London. Um, and just doing festive stuff like Winter Wonderland, which was great. But we had the worst company for that um, uh, giant wheel. Um, because, first of all, it was too many of us and no one noticed. Because I think the those uh, um, cars, I'm not sure how, what's the right word for it. Um, my battery is flashing. A few moments later. Oh, cabins. There's supposed to be only six people in there. It was seven of us. Um, and you know, I get that everyone wants to take a photo while we met, but the girls that we were there with, they, for the whole ride, they were just taking for us all the time of themselves, walking in it and doing all that stuff. It was horrible because it was more wobbly than it should be and it made me feel anxious a little bit. So that wasn't the most pleasant thing, but I did enjoy it, but I wouldn't try to wait more if they just sat down and actually enjoyed the ride. But, oh well. Here are the things that I bought in London. It's not much of it. Um, but it's basically kind of essentials I needed for a long time. So first of all, that was actually the first purchase. Uh, it's just the eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. Uh, very, very simple, beigey tones. Um, exactly what I like. Um, I need to actually throw away all the eyeshadow palettes I've got because I had them for ages so I don't think they 
they're not really safe to use anymore. And I also love the name of that palette. The kitty likes to scratch. Perfect. <laughs> um, another thing from Too Faced is that famous uh, lip injection. Lip balm, I guess. Um, so, I will give it a try. That is a set of two. Um, so as you can see, it is a duo, but I've only got the transparent one because I think it was like, I don't know how much we paid, 12 pounds, maybe 20. And I've got one, my friend has the other one. Um, I'm not a big fan of my lips. <laughs> I would like to have them done at some point. Uh, so I thought I'll give it a go. Um, we'll see if it's going to do anything at all. Um, so that's that. Um, also, I got again very famous CC Plus uh, foundation from It Cosmetics. Um, I've got it in the chef in the shade Fair, and it is a miniature because I thought uh, I don't want to buy a full size product if I'm not sure about it. Maybe I'm not going to like it, but I love it. I Since I came back, I'm using it every single day. And it's Thursday today, actually, when I'm filming this bit. And I love it. It is brilliant. And I'm going to purchase a full-size product. It costs about £30, but I'm pretty sure it is worth it. Um, so, yeah, and the shade is perfect for me. That shade is literally perfect. Um, so, yeah, I love it give it a try if you didn't i like it it has actually for a cc cream the coverage is amazing it is full coverage and i actually like it so it is great and also the fact that it has spf 50 uva pa plus 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 so i love it so actually buying a miniature was a good decision to just give it a try, then it costs like less than half price and I think it's going to last me for another at least few days, so that's fine. And then I got some skincare from The Ordinary. Um, my skin recently is quite oily for some reason. It used to be very dry, but I think it has something to do with me getting older, I guess, so that my skin type changes. Uh, I used to use that as well, uh, it is Nyasinami 10% plus zinc 1% and because I'm getting old I decided it's time for retinol so I got a very small dose of it, it's 0.2% uh, so I'm starting using that, I think I'm starting with one a week so far I don't see my face being irritated so that's good so I'll just carry on with using it for like once a week for a month maybe and then twice a week and I guess that's how I'm going to start once I finish this bottle I guess I'll move on to the bigger dose of it so that'll be it really when it comes to stuff I bought in London um when it comes to recommendations for where you could actually go for like food because I always struggle with that in London um, that two places I could recommend one of them is uh, what's the name it was a burger place um, I'll leave you the link to the place in the description uh, very good burgers and it has a choice of beef chicken and plant-based chicken uh, plant-based chicken plant-based burger and I can actually recommend they were really good quite fast service we actually had to wait for a table so I guess that's a sign that it is a good place I guess um, and the other place that we were I think it was Honest Burgers it's like that uh, and it was around I guess Kensington area just uh, yeah I think that area and then the other place would be uh, Billy's in Covent Garden. It, it is a chain actually, so you can just see where you would like to go. But we went to the one in uh, Covent Garden for breakfast. It was really good. The place itself is just gorgeous. 
uh, quite busy as well so I would recommend making a booking as we did uh, because I knew we were going to go, go for breakfast all together and I didn't want to you know go from one place to another and then just get irritated because there is no, uh, no tables available uh, and you know in the morning I just need food <laughs> so I just wanted to know that I have a table booked somewhere for all of us so we can just go straight in and just get our food and I guess that's it in this video so I hope you enjoyed it a little London vlog slash haul of what I bought in London and now I'm actually going to finish this vlogmas now I swear my memory cards are driving me crazy during this vlogmas I really want to vlog using the camera and just the memory card one it keeps saying it's locked when it's not locked and with this one, it just constantly say it's full when it's actually not because I erased it. Like most of the stuff from it. And whatever is on it, for sure, is not 128 gigs. So it's just really, really frustrating. But like I was saying, I'm going to finish this vlogmas here. And actually start another one straight away. Because... That bedroom is not looking festive. We need to turn it into a winter wonderland. So this is what I'm going to do in the next vlogmas. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlogmas. If yes, please leave it a thumbs up. If you still don't subscribe to my channel, do it now. So you're not going to miss another vlogmas. And I have, I think, still three vlogmas left, at least. Uh, that I'm going to film... Uh, during this week and next week so I hope you enjoyed it and if yes please uh, leave it a thumb up like I said and also comment what you've done festive recently and I'll see you in very very soon in the next vlogmas